Welcome my dear students. Let's start unit 1 in our English word book. Its title is A Journey to Adventure. رحلة للمغامرة. Escape from the fire. الهروب من النار. Chapter 1. Robert was excited. Excited here is an adjective sifa bimana mutahamis. He was going to stay with his grandfather at the weekend. Hayod and the giddu finhayit al isbua. Lucy, his cousin, bintamu, was going to stay too. Hatruh taud hinek bardu. She was the same age as Robert. نفس عمر روبرت and they were good friends while Robert was packing his bag وهو بيحزم حقائبه بيجهز شنطته the telephone rang the telephone rang noisily يعني التليفون رن بإزعاج Robert answered it it was Lucy I hope we have a great weekend, said Lucy. So do I. When I come in, at manna nechna nqaddi ageza azima, said Robert. It's always good fun at granddad's. Daiman bibba fi muta fi bit giddu. While Robert was traveling on the bus, he thought about granddad. Can be fakkar fi giddu. There were two things about him that Robert and Lucy really liked. Fi haktin, Lucy and Robert kanu bi hibbu haf giddohum. First, he was very, very clever. Kan meher. He was an inventor. Inventor means mukhtara. He invented lots of things. Ikhtara haget kitir. But mostly he invented new kinds of mobile phones. لكن بالأكثر كان بيخترع أنواع جديدة من الموبايلات. The other thing they liked was that Granddad loved history. جدو كان بيحب التاريخ. His house was full of history books. كان بيته مليان بكتب التاريخ. When Robert and Lucy came to stay, لما Lucy and Robert راحوا يقعدوا عند جدو, Granddad told them exciting stories from history. كان بيقول لهم قصص شيقة من التاريخ. The cousins loved the stories because they were true. كانت حقيقية. They loved Granddad's tales. Tales means stories of explorers. Explorers means people who travel all over the world to discover and to see new places and new towns and cities who used to sail across the oceans and travel across deserts to distant lands لأراضي بعيدة Robert knocked on granddad's door خبط على باب جده Mrs. Green the maid the maid means the woman who helps granddad with the housework who cleans the house opened the door opened it hello Robert she said Come in. Udkhul. Hello, Mrs. Green. Robert said, How are you? I'm fine, said Mrs. Green. She took his bag from him. Your grandfather is in his study. Study means the room in which he studies. Robert hurried, hurried, means walked quickly into granddad's study. Hello, granddad, he began. Then 
he stopped in surprise توقف متفاجئ Granddad was sitting in an armchair. Armchair means the chair with arms. There was a big bandage on his foot. This is the bandage on his foot. Granddad, what happened? Robert asked. I've hurt my ankle. Anna? أصبت كعب رجلي. Granddad said. The doctor says I mustn't walk on it for a few days. لازم مبشيش عليها لبضعة أيام. Poor granddad. مسكين يا جدي. Does it hurt? بتؤلمك. I'll help you. And so will Lucy. أنا هساعدك وكمان Lucy. Where is she? فينها has she arrived yet وصلت ولا لسه granddad looked worried كان يبدو عليه القلق i'm not sure مش متاكد he said i think she has disappeared اعتقد انها اختفت disappeared said robert what do you mean granddad leaned mal towards him and whispered Wahamas spoke in a low voice. I think she has traveled back in time. أعتقد إنها تكون عادت في الزمن سافرت في الزمن للخلف. The chapter two, the time travel phones. الهواتف اللي عن طريقها بتسافر عبر الزمن. Robert looked at Granddad, amazed, وكان مندهش. How could Lucy have traveled back in time? He asked. Granddad showed him a mobile phone. وراله الموبايل. Look at this, انظر. He said, this is not an ordinary phone. ده مش تليفون عادي. This is my newest phone. Invention Invention يعني اختراع Robert thought the mobile phone looked ordinary يعني كان يعتقد ان الموبايل عادي What's special about it? ايه الحاجة الخاصة بالموبايل ده? He asked Do you promise not to tell anyone? هل تعد انك ما تقولش لحد not even Lucy ولا حتى Lucy Lucy knows already Lucy, Lucy بتعرف بالفعل not even mom and dad I'll tell them soon هقول لهم قريبا okay so what does it do asked Robert with this mobile phone You can travel back in time. بالموبايل ده تقدر تسافر للخلف في الزمن. Wow! Robert exclaimed. تعجب. Can you truly do that? تقدر فعلا تعمل كده? Granddad nodded proudly. Nodded يعني حرك راسه لفوق وتحت proudly بفخر. I've worked on this invention for two years. اشتغل على الاختراع ده لمدة سنتين. He said, it's ready now. ودلوقتي هو جاهز. Robert's eyes widened. عيني وسعت. How does it work? ازاي بيشتغل? Let me show you. خليني اوري لك. You put in the date and you, you want to visit. بتدخل التاريخ اللي عاوز تزوره Then you put in the place you want to visit وبعدين بتدخل المكان Then you put in the password adventure كلمة المرور adventure Did you tell Lucy this? Yes And now one of the time travel phones is missing Missing is not here and not there Disappeared. 
How many time travel phones have you made? عددهم قد إيه الموبايلات اللي انت اخترعتها Robert asked Four Granddad shook his head I'm worried Robert أنا الآن يا روبرت I think Lucy has used the missing phone to travel, travel back in time أعتقد أن لوسي استخدمت واحد من التليفونات علشان ترجع في الزمن واو روبرت exclaimed Where do you think she has gone? تعتقد راحت فين Now Let's do some exercises on the previous passage. Reading comprehension and vocabulary. Who said these words? Circle the answer. Number one. I hope we have a great weekend. Who said these words? Do you remember? Yes. You're right. It's Lucy. Number two. It's always good fun at Granddad's. Yes, it's Robert. Number three. Hello, Robert. Come in. Yes, Mrs. Green. I've heard to my ankle. Yes, it's Granddad. Grandfather. What's special about it? Yes, it's Robert. You put in the date you want to visit. Grandfather. Label the picture. We have here six words. Maid, study, inventor, armchair, Ankle and bandage. Number one. Yes, she's a maid. Number two. What is this? Yes, it's his ankle. Next. Yes, number three is a bandage. And number four is inventor. He's an inventor. Number five. Yes, it's an armchair. And number six. It's study. Study. It's the room in which he studies next exercise match the verbs and the definitions here we have five definitions nod scape shake promise and mean number one to say you will do something is yes to promise Number two, to move an object from side to side quickly is to shake. Yes. Number three, to move your head up and down is to nod. Number four, to explain an idea is to yes to mean and number five to get away from is to yes to escape next write the words in the box next to their definitions we have here some definitions inventor muhtara surprise mufaga history tarikh cousin ابن أو بنت العم أو الخال ordinary عادي age عمر missing مفقود and great عظيم number one how old someone or something is 
Yes, age. Number two. The son or daughter of your aunt or uncle is your cousin. Yes. Number three. Wonderful, excellent, fantastic or yes, great. Number four. Things that happened in the past is history. Yes. Someone who thinks of or make something new inventor excellent number six not here not there yes you're right missing number seven usual and not special is ordinary id number eight Something you did not think what happened. Yes, you're right. Surprise. Next. Now, read the sentences. Circle the word that is wrong. Write the correct word. For example, number one. Robert was going to stay with his grandmother? No, with his grandfather. Number two. Yes, granddad's house was full of... Yes, history books, not story books. Number three. Mrs. Green was granddad's aunt? No. Yes, you're right. She's his maid. Number four. There was a big bandage on Granddad's arm. No. The answer will be his leg. Number five. Granddad showed Robert his best invention. Not best. His newest one. His newest invention. Number six. Robert thought the mobile phone looked special. Not special, but ordinary. Granddad told Robert about the passenger. No, not the passenger, but the password. The password. Number eight. Granddad made 40 time travel phones. Yes, the mistake is in the number. Yes, four, just four time travel phones. Yes, you're right. Now let's do these two exercises together. Choose the correct word to complete at each sentence. We have six words here. Cousin, kind, proudly, history, surprise, and chapter. Number one. The last space in the book was the most exciting. Yes, the last chapter. Number two. I think space is a very interesting subject. Yes, history. Number three. A penguin is a... Yes, is a kind of seabird. Number four. This is my new baby brother, said Kate. Yes, proudly. Number five. We are going to Spain on holiday. It's a big surprise. Mufaga. Fred plays basketball every day after school with his, yeah, with his cousin. Number four. Choose and circle A or B. Number one. 
A person who is missing is... Yes, you're right, not here. Number two. An ordinary object is... Usual. Number three. Poor granddad means... Yes, you are sorry for granddad. Number four. A great film is... Very good. Yes, you're right. Thank you for your watching.